also, if you if you pick this game up, I mean, you're definitely going to have fun with it. And uh, I don't know. It's just such a good, satisfying game overall here. I mean, I can't sing its praises enough. Blizzard really knocked it out of the park with the console versions of these games. Um, one caveat I do have to say is that the um, the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 versions, while they do have um, uh, a lot of the stuff that's included in the expansion, they don't have the addition of greater rifts and stuff like that. It's, um, it's kind of a big detractor, because uh, I had a buddy who basically upgraded to the Xbox One uh, just so he could play the extra stuff that's included in the uh, current gen versions, I guess is the, the right word for it. Um, but uh, yeah, you're definitely missing out on the total experience if you pick it up on the Xbox 360 or PlayStation 3. So if you don't have the current gen console, um, I mean, you're missing out, but it's still it's still a great game with a ton of uh, a ton of good stuff for everybody involved. It's a really fun game, and I'd recommend picking it up. Um, if you have the if you have the Xbox One uh, right now, right now for this week, um, they have it on sale, fifty percent off. So if you're kind of on the fence about it, maybe the thirty dollar price tag will push you to uh, picking it up. I mean, it's definitely helpful um, in terms of you know. I always love the the online sales they have because it's like, well, I'm kind of on the fence about picking up the game. Oh, it's like discounted 50%. Hell yeah, I'll pick it up for, you know, 30 bucks as opposed to 60. And for a game like this, I mean, you're definitely getting your money's worth. Uh, let's see. Oh, man, we got a lot of people in here. So uh, I want to say hey to everybody in the chat and everybody who's just joining us. Welcome to our uh, virgin run-through of uh, Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls Hardcore Mode. I call it virgin because we are... Running it with no help, we're running it completely solo, uh, no co-op right now, nobody helping us out basically. Ooh, a plan. Ooh, a plan for a belt. That's interesting. Anyways, we're running completely solo. We don't have any help from any uh, higher level... Um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Man, I can't speak suddenly. We don't have any help from any, any higher level uh, hardcore characters on this account. And since it is hardcore, um, once I do die, this character dies forever. Basically, this character operates on a one-death system. So, um, uh, kind of adds some excitement to it. Basically, the stream can end at any time based on my skill or my absent-mindedness and uh, any curveballs the game may decide to throw at me. So, we're, it's really cool. We're having a lot of fun, and uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. And if you do, I hope you guys stick around to uh, check out more of what we got going on here. It looks as All if right. you're alone up here. Of course I'm bloody well alone. Let's see, let's Everyone see, let's see. Gone and die, but I'll be damned if I leave my post. Hey, uh, it looks like we've got a new follower here. Uh, I want to give a shout out to Morbids02. Morbids02 is now following the Wu-Tang Chicken. Hey, thanks a ton, man. We appreciate the follow, and I hope you, uh, hope you really like what you see. Hope we don't disappoint you, and hope you keep tuning in for more, buddy. Thanks for the follow. My Very mistake. cool. I thought you came over here to help Very this cool category. indeed. I didn't realize you were here for the bloody scenery. All right. Man, there's so much micromanagement with this character between keeping the sentries up, keeping up damage fields. It's really cool. It's a really interesting character to play. And one of the main reasons I picked this character over others for the uh, for the stream. Plus, the character has kind of a glass jaw. Um, damn, I completely forgot what I was saying because I was looking in the uh, looking in the uh, the chat here. De La Page is asking if online and single player is the same, if like the characters' levels and everything car uh, carry over. Yes, um, you use the same characters for online and single player. It's not like the old Diablo where you have to set up a different character for online or single player. Um, the character you create is the character you have, no matter what, and uh, the stuff Good that's linked to the account is also very cool. You um, you I should probably explain that really quick. So you have, hand. let's say you have one character, right? You have one regular uh, game character, like not hardcore, and you get that character up to level 70, and you have a bunch of stuff in the stash, 
and you get uh, you start getting Paragon points, which is the leveling system that comes in after you reach the maximum level. So let's say you have like a level 40 Paragon level, and then you decide, eh, well, I'm kind of sick of playing with this character. I think I'll start a new one. So you go and start a different character with the same account and everything like that. All the stuff in your stash, all your Paragon levels, all your gold, everything carries over from one character to the next, including... Um, What's the damn word I'm looking for? Including your craftsmen that you have back in town, which I can kind of show off here. Uh, the levels, the, the the points you put into them, carry over from one character to another, which really kind of increases the replayability a lot. Because basically, you're not when you start a new character, you're not starting a character from scratch. It's kind of all bound to the same account. Um, and I can kind of show that off here really quick once uh, once Asmodan stops talking here. Uh, let's take a look in our stash here. So I've got I've got these items. Well, I don't have many items in my stash here, but uh, let's say I put an item in my stash, like the saffron wrap. So I've put it in here with this character, and this is a hardcore character, right? So if I make another hardcore character on this account, that hardcore character will have access to all the money my character has, that 202,000 some odd gold. Um, and all the items I've put in the stash. So you can basically, you can be like, oh man, I found this awesome barbarian item, but only barbarians can use it, and I'm a, you know, I'm a witch doctor or something, right? Well, whenever I create a barbarian character, I can put that item in the stash, and whenever that character is the appropriate level, uh, the character can equip the item that I put in the stash for him, which is really cool. Um, and you can get different items like health bearings, items that increase your, um, uh, increase like your experience gain and stuff like that. So you can actually use your, like, main character to help power level other characters and kind of, kind of get, it gives you a lot more cool stuff or a lot more cool incentives to uh, continue to replay the game and replay the game with different characters. Um, In fact, there's even there's an achievement that when I saw it for uh, for this version of the game, I thought was a little unnecessary and kind of stupid and grindy, which is hit the maximum level with every character class. And then once I realized that you know I can I can increase my character's experience gain by like a hundred percent, and then by even more once I get the character, um, you know, like playing on a higher difficulty and stuff like that. You know, due to Paragon points making the character tougher and stuff like that. I'm like, wow, this is really like, yeah, this is kind of a, a dumb achievement, but honestly, it's not an unreasonable achievement to ask someone to get it all because I mean, there's enough replayability in this game that you can you can play to level 70 with all six character classes and, and still be having a ton of fun with the game, which is super cool. All right, so. We're heading down to fight an uh, awesome boss here. Oh man, I was hoping that was an experience pool and not a uh, health pool. Uh, let's see, let's drop those off here. Start dropping grenades on these guys. Um, oh yeah, and we are playing on hardcore mode, but we're also not playing on the normal difficulty here. I can show off from the paw scream. Uh, scream? Wow, I can't talk. Up in the top left corner there, you can see we're playing on hard, which is like the next difficulty level up. Um, another cool replayability feature of this game is there's like there's like 13 different hard modes that get progressively harder. Uh, like it goes it goes normal, hard, expert, master, uh, torment, and then torment. There are torment levels one through six. Um, and when you're playing on Torment 6, you're basically, you should be playing with like a godlike character who can handle it because there is a, uh, oh Jesus, these, uh, these guys are not fucking around here. Um, that's like for super high level end game stuff when you play on Torment 6. Like that's what I play with my, uh, with my regular characters. That's what I play on. Uh, because with the, the Paragon level they're at right now, that's the only way I can get them any kind of experience. And you ca I can still only get them experience with how high level they are. I can still only really get them experience um, when they're doing, like, the super hard endgame raids. And they're... Oh, wow. This is better than my current helm. I guess that means I should be going back to town soon. 
Actually, I'll go back to town soon. I'll go back to town and craft stuff once I hit level 51, uh, because then I unlock the next tier of craftable items, and that'll uh, exponentially increase our survivability and damage here. So, in just a little bit, we'll be at the point where we can start doing ridiculous that amounts of damage. I mean, not that we're not doing that already, but yeah. <laughs> Let's see, let's see, let's see. Yeah, the, the, that's another cool thing about this game. If you liked uh, Diablo 1 and 2 and you liked it for the skills that the characters had, for instance, my favorite character was the Necromancer because I could create a skeleton army. Um, they really upped the ante in terms of cool skills and stuff in this game here. Um, the characters are so varied and you can vary how they, uh-oh. Oh, I thought I was gonna, I thought I was gonna have some, uh, some trouble there. Um, anyways, they really vary how you can, uh, uh, change your character skills around. Oh man, all my emeralds are back in town. Screw it, we'll go back there later. Um, and every, char every character is definitely set up as, like, a special niche for, you know, a certain person's play style. Like, some people like the rapid fire, the, uh the demon hunter over everything else. Some people like being a barbarian, being able to jump around and like just rip enemies to shreds almost with their bare hands. Some people like playing as the wizard that sits on the outskirts and just causes ridiculous amounts of focus damage. And my personal favorite is the witch doctor because it has such a ridiculous skill set and you can also summon tons of uh, pets to come at once. Like if you get a witch doctor built up properly, you can summon in 21 pets at once and just use them as like, use them as a meat wall between you and the enemies um, while you rain down like death and acid pools and all sorts of crazy awesome stuff. Um, so there's really, there's something for everyone in terms of characters and uh, skill sets in this game. I mean, to elaborate on the Witch Doctor a bit, one of my favorite skills is the Witch Doctor. One of my favorite early game skills just has the Witch Doctor throwing jars of poisonous fucking spiders at enemies. I mean, he's just throwing jars of poisonous spiders. It's fucking hilarious. Um, the character, Delapage, is asking me what character I'm playing with now. This character is called a Demon Hunter. Um, it is a long-range, um, single damage, or single character, uh, damage dealer. It's it's built to deal high damage to one enemy while having some crowd control elements. Um, and being able to get very quickly out of uh, out of harm's way uh, with vault skills and caltrops and laying down traps that basically slow and immobilize enemies. Um, they can get like crow companions and stuff. Uh, all sorts of different cool stuff, but they're mainly they're mainly a ranged heavy damage dealer. They're basically boss killers, um, and they're designed that way. Um, and I'm playing with this 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 class because it's a highly uh, a highly uh, skill based class. Uh, it's based on your ability to be able to spread out your damage and use your skills effectively to keep you alive as well as cause damage to the enemies that need to have damage caused to them. For instance, basically focusing fire on a single enemy as opposed to trying to take on large groups at once. Um, and then cool survivability stuff like like the vault skill that has me jumping around which causes like invincibility frames and stuff. It's just a really cool character and I thought it would be a really fun character to play with in a hardcore setting. Um, so I was, I was, I was really hoping that this would be, um, a really cool class to play for hardcore. Also, this char these character, or these characters, this class, uh, kind of has a lower defense compared to other classes, and I thought that would kind of add to a really cool high risk, high reward play style for hardcore, because if I get caught, if I get caught in like two damage fields at once, and I can't get out within a split second, it's basically over for me and then my character's dead permanently since this is hardcore. So I thought that would be a really cool way to kind of, you know, kind of test my skill as I'm do as I'm putting on a cool stream. Um, and uh, so far it's, it's worked out for me because I've had a couple dire moments where I've only vaulted out of harm's way, like right in the nick of time, and it's been really fucking cool. And there's, there's definitely a bunch of cool, like, holy shit moments you can... Uh, go back to and check out in the archives here uh, that we have. 
Um, and I would recommend that if you enjoy watching this. There's definitely, there's, there's, I think there's already like 30 other episodes up on our YouTube channel. Um, 